are at the Family Life Conference. We're out at Lac St. Anne at the pilgrimage site. Right now people are just pulling up and setting up camp and they're getting ready for four days of talks, mass, fellowship, campfires, the kids all have events, just all kinds of things. Family Life Conference started as an idea of my dad's. I think it was a dream that he had had about a way to bring Catholic families together to learn together, to share together. The only thing that's changed is it started as a small group of a couple hundred people over at Fata House in its first year, and now we're, sometimes we get crowds of up to 3,000. When I was a kid attending the conference, I was always really excited to attend the conference. I saw people I didn't ever see otherwise. It's hard to explain the environment of having, you know, over 500 families come and be together in, in that way. Like it's it's not like a traditional campground where you're kind of segregated off from other people with trees around you. Like you're camping right next to other families the whole time and getting to know new people. Throughout the weekend, we're gonna hear talks from a variety of Catholic speakers and they'll be delivering talks from age six all the way up to adulthood and we've got separate talks for each of those age groups. It's gonna be an exciting weekend full of uh, Catholic apologetics, Catholic community, Catholic family life. I think in the Catholic Church, we've, for the rank and file Catholic, our, our, our expression of church is Sunday Mass in a parish. This is different. The Family Life Conference strengthens families in their central primary role of handing on the faith. It's in family that the most fundamental, deepest bonds are formed. Faith deepens family experience by opening the family to the presence of the Lord himself in their lives. It does show that the hunger that people have, that they want the truth, they want speakers who are able to give them the, the truth of our Catholic faith. They want something that really speaks to them, that challenges them, that inspires them, that helps them in their journey because the families who come out here are ones who are taking their faith very seriously and they need a lot of encouragement, a lot of help because it's not easy in the midst of our present society to live out your faith in a, in a really serious and vibrant way. And so this is something that is very helpful for, for everybody who, who comes here. The Family Life Conference is unlike any conference I've ever been to. Uh, it's like a Catholic Woodstock. It's a really healthy and beautiful place for families to come and be together. I had done enough research to know that this was an important conference. To see so many like-minded families coming together in support of the church and its teachings and its mission, it is a joy. And so I would just encourage people to attend, not only to hear great speakers, but to be a part of this community. My first impression of the conference is I wish we had one of these near where I live, you know, because my family would be here in the tents. Just the opportunity for people of all ages, whether it's a three-year-old kid or, you know, a teenager, college student, young adult, there's just something for everybody. It's a real opportunity to get away from all the noise of the world and let God speak to your heart. Ever since I was uh, Archbishop of Edmonton for many years, um, I always look forward to the Catholic Family Life Conference. Uh, it is a truly important, a wonderful way in which people come together to deepen their faith and to share that faith within their families and in the broader community. And that's one of the reasons why the Catholic Family Life Conference is an extremely important event and one which I would hope everyone will be able to take part in. It's really good to be with young people, with fellow young people, to talk faith, just to hang out. It allows me to connect with God and reconnect with all sorts of friends that I never get to see. Even though as I came as a single person, I felt like I was part of a family because I saw all of these friends and they became my family. It is a really great place to grow a little bit in your faith and especially just to meet other Catholic people. I just have a blast every year, so I love it. Certainly it's good for all of the clergy to participate in this conference. People have such a desire 
to celebrate the sacraments of the church. You don't find that everywhere. There have been years where I've been here till one o'clock in the morning, even beyond that, hearing confessions. And so for priests to come out to participate in the conference, it's very uplifting for them in their own ministry to see that people do desire what the priesthood has to give. The feel of the conference here is very strong, very uh, energetic. There's a lot of good faith, a lot of people connecting, the sacrament of penance, the, the Eucharist, listening to the various talks. You can tell there's a positive energy, strong communion. I like the fellowship. There, there's, there's community in, a, in an environment like this. Uh, Christian community is genuine. There's a spirit, you can feel it when you come on to the grounds. It's really important for family members to come together, not just themselves, but other families coming together to support one another, strengthen one another, challenge one another. People who want to live a Christian family life know from their experience at the conference that they're not alone. There's no requirement that you come with your big Catholic family. You can come as an individual, as a married couple, as a dating couple, as a single person. Anyone at any walk in life, at any stage in their kind of faith journey, wherever you're at, it doesn't matter. There's something here for everyone to, to learn and to grow and hopefully to make friendships and to build community with other like-minded people. One of everyone's favorite experiences at the conference, and it certainly is for me, is when everyone comes together in the shrine. We have a mass or a benediction, and everyone of all ages are there, and we're all singing together. Over 2,000, sometimes 3,000 Catholic people singing the same hymns together. It's really just kind of a breathtaking experience to be part of. I would encourage others um, who haven't experienced this kind of Catholic community or who haven't uh, been a part of something like the Family Life Conference to by all means come and check it out and, and be with us. The people that we know who we've convinced to come, come every year because it's, it's so much fun. The hope of this conference is that they can be lit on fire and then really just take that and, and spread that amongst you know people and evangelize wherever they can and help people to see the beauty that is the Catholic faith. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing to be Catholic. And it's a beautiful, beautiful thing to be raised in a Catholic family. What I would hope they would take away from the conference is renewed reliance upon the grace of God that He will give to the family whatever gifts are necessary to live the call uh, that is theirs. Get engaged in this sort of activity in your lives. Find Catholic community, find people who you can grow with and, and together we'll, we'll set the world on fire. <laughs> <laughs>